guys you're welcome back hope you guys are feeling good my name is bukumi bk crown thank you so much for clicking our atheism led this person to islam an american revert story so let's check it out assalamu alaikum i am a 22 year old brother who grew up christian and considered myself atheist at 18. Hmm. I didn't really have a specific reason, but I just didn't feel the need of a god, mm. nor did I see any real evidence. Hmm. Mm. After a year or so, I would occasionally spend maybe a few hours a month researching God's existence, more specifically Jesus. Mm. I didn't see anything that stuck out to me, so I gave up at around 20. Shortly after turning 20, I started realizing how complex reality as we know it is, as well as the universe. So I started researching again, but a bit more frequently this time. I started watching online content. A majority of them is atheist, and would spend maybe an hour a day watching them. I would look at the different arguments of atheists, and they seemed so reliable that I built a bias toward atheist evidence that any evidence of a theist I would easily debunk as an atheist using contradicting arguments from atheists. You may notice I'm using the term atheist as well as I'm repeating I watched a lot of atheists. That is a problem. Around 21, I had a thought one day. You know what? I sure do seem biased towards atheist content. I finally realized that I need to start looking at the opposite side, from the theist. More on this at the end. This is very important. I started looking into Christianity, who believed Jesus is God. After realizing that the Bible had an excessive amount of contradictions, I spent a few months looking into other religions. I had a bad view towards Muslims, and found a video of a Muslim lecture from a popular YouTube channel. I listened to it, and it completely changed my view, so I checked Islam out. After a few weeks, I noticed that from what I have seen so far, that the Quran has zero contradictions. I had gotten seriously interested that I finally found a religion with a book that had no contradictions and has never been changed. I started watching a popular scholar who talked science in the Quran. And after researching what I learned from him myself, I realized there must be a connection. But I couldn't quite connect the two enough to commit myself. My faith was not there. I still didn't think I believed in God. I continued for a bit less than a year as an agnostic and started watching a popular Muslim YouTuber who talked a lot about the Kalam cosmological argument. Basically, that implies that everything that begins to exist as cause. The universe began to exist. Therefore, the universe has a cause. After researching that, I finally found something that connected God with the Quran, or so I thought. I read a blog post from an atheist who debunked that by using an argument that the universe could be infinite. So I started researching that myself, and rest assured, nothing. Not a single thing can be infinite. It's scientifically impossible and goes against reality itself. An existence cannot be bigger than itself. Infinity must be bigger than itself. But it doesn't exist anyway. It's just an idea made up in our heads. Sounds familiar, atheists? So, we have a universe that has a cause, that cannot be infinite, that relies on something spaceless, Timeless, immaterial, all-powerful and personal. That sounds like God to me. That grabbed my attention, and I started researching the scientific miracles in the Quran, in which it has a huge abundance of. And I was astonished. I watched endless amounts of debates online to never see the Muslim fail. He always had an answer straight from the Quran. I had finally found my answer. Let's end on a few notes. In order to find God, you must be open-minded, searching for the truth. 
truly being honest with yourself and open to throwing away what you want for that. Remember how I mentioned that atheists tend to research data from other atheists and only atheists. The majority of atheists only view atheist bias data, in which case you're getting half the story. The data they're getting from other atheists always tend to be from another atheist. They tend to be biased towards them for their own reasons, which only Allah knows. But it's so easy to assume that viewing content of your desired outcome makes you biased. Let's use an example. If an atheist likes going to the club, drinking alcohol, living in general a lifestyle that if God were true, the atheist would have to give up or suffer the consequences. It's easy to gravitate to what suits their preferred lifestyle. This is detrimental to find the truth. Many times when debating an atheist, they will verbally attack you, like believing in God is a terrible thing. This is because they're misled, and it may not fit their lifestyle. They're not willing to sacrifice their lifestyle for a better one. I once watched a video of a man who said, I would rather go to hell than worship a God that allows such evil to happen in this world. But they cannot comprehend that if you understood everything God did, he would not be God. Remember, God knows best. So I'll end on this. Have an open mind and allow yourself to sacrifice your not-so-good lifestyle for a better one. Let's get this straight. God is real, and it's the most important thing in existence. Nothing on earth is more important than following God. This is not to stereotype atheists. Many atheists are good people and would lend a helping hand to anyone. But from my experience, this is what I've observed, especially from the ones who research it immensely. They tend to be more biased. Some atheists will go to any length and try to pull out every argument they can. They let any evidence go through one ear and out the other. It doesn't have to be so complicated. You don't need one million arguments, just a few good ones. May Allah guide everyone to the straight path. Salam. So this guy he said he had a very bad view about Islam, about Muslims, until one day he came across a video on YouTube and that actually drew his attention. You know, something will surely lead you to something for you to get your results or for you to have a change of mind or change of act so that actually led him to research deeper he went deeper into it to get to know about the religion maybe that religion can prove him right that there is god because he has tried so many ways to believe in god but he didn't have the reason to believe that there is god so from there something you know actually drew his attention that's science you notice that science and Quran has something in common and he was like okay if there's scientific miracles in the quran then that means truly this religion is the way that means through this religion i can believe now that there is god some people have this complete belief in science than any other thing so he let us understand what 80s was all about being an 80s doesn't mean you cannot live your life or you will condemn other religion no being an 80s means you don't believe in god you don't believe that there is god you're just living your life the way it comes you know that yes something brought you to this earth something created nature but they, they have this mindset that if there is god how come you can see god you can feel god nobody knows how god is so to them that doesn't actually make sense to them but well i just love how his you know journey of started and from there he accepted islam that was a beautiful story and i love this kind of thing well amazing amazing i love it. i love when 80s you know actually believe in a religion and decide that okay Truly, truly, now I can believe that there is God. And one thing that I even draw my attention more was the fact that this guy, at the age of 18, as young as he was, as an adolescent, he started believing that there was no God. What gave him that mindset? Maybe he had some, you know, experiences that made him believe that there is no God. And he said his religion, I, I'm sure he was once a Christian, he said his religion never proved him right that there is God. 
So I, I just love when atheists actually stick to a religion and uh, when they actually believe that, yes, truly, truly, there is God because we didn't just land on this earth. Definitely, there is God. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Let me know what you think about this video. Thank you so much for watching. You're my real VVVIPs. I'll see you guys in the next one.